Each spring, third through eighth grade students attending Utah Public Schools are asked to complete tests that align with the Utah Core Standards. The results of these tests provide valuable information for students and their parents regarding their learning. Testing information is also valuable to teachers and administrators as they examine their curriculum and instructional practices as part of their professional development. These results are also used to inform the public regarding each school's overall performance to ensure that schools are meeting the needs of all students and helps direct additional funding and support as necessary. During the 2018-2019 administration of Utah Standard Assessment, also known as RISE, the vendor's delivery software experienced a variety of problems, including times where students were unable to submit test sessions or access scheduled tests. The delivery software also struggled to provide accurate and complete reports. As a result of these test administration troubles, some students experienced strained testing environments and educators lost confidence in the data. The Utah State Board of Education directed multiple studies in an effort to determine the impact the test administration irregularities may have had on student results and to determine if the results could be published and used for state accountability requirements. These studies included the Utah Test Interruption, SGP Across Assessment Transition, and Achievement Impact Studies. The test interruption study was conducted by ETS Educational Testing Services and validated by the Center for Assessment with the objective of determining if the testing interruptions impacted student proficiency scores. The SGP Across Assessment Study was conducted by the Center for Assessment and looked at the impact of the removal of writing from the ELA scale score, change in assessments, and the impact the test administration problems had in calculating student growth percentiles. The USBE LEA Achievement Study was conducted by USBE Data and Statistics staff in collaboration with analysts from Jordan and Salt Lake City school districts and focused on differences that could be observed in comparing the 2019 results with the prior five years administration of these tests. In addition to these studies, USBE staff examined descriptive statistics related to test administration including participation codes, test resets, test transfers, above grade level administrations, test attempts, and system logins. The results of these studies were reviewed by the Assessment and Accountability Policy Advisory Committee and the Technical Assistance Committee, and their recommendations were taken before the board on October 3rd for consideration. All groups involved in the studies recommended moving forward with using the results for the intended purposes. While acknowledging some individual students were negatively impacted by the delivery system problems, at the aggregate level, all available evidence supports the publication and use of the data at the state, LEA, and school level. Utah educators are widely recognized as being some of the best and most committed in the country. Through their efforts to minimize the impacts of the delivery system interruptions and irregularities, more students were able to successfully complete and submit tests during the 2019 administration than in the previous three years. Many school districts extended their testing windows and parents strongly supported the educators' efforts to measure their students' learning. These efforts, combined with the quality of the Utah's assessment questions written by the state teachers, provide a qualitative explanation for the outcomes of the studies. It is good news that the 2019 RISE results can be published and used for their intended purposes, but as with any single data source, the information should be considered in the context of all available evidence. For more information on RISE, visit our website at www.schools.utah.gov.